All right, so let's uh, let's have some fun. Let's go through the process of how I know what types I am and what types I'm not. Yeah. Okay. So I know we'll start with the functions because that's where you should always start. The test is really useless, as everybody keeps saying. It's like the cliche now. Test doesn't. The test mis misinforms you more than anything. That's it's like the worst. The worst. They should just stop making the tests. They should just stop. Stop it. But anyway. Um. Yeah. But anyway, I definitely don't use extroverted thinking. Definitely not. Because the alternative to extroverted thinking would be extroverted feeling. You can have one of those two. Extroverted thinking, extroverted feeling. It's how you operate in the outer world. Um, well, not, not how you operate. How you, how you like analyze information and how you transmit information. So like somebody who uses um, thinking extroverted would be very much sticking to facts wants to get the information right instead of wanting to get instead of wanting to cater to um, people's emotions at all so thinking extroverted is more just like information based so if you have extroverted thinking you have introverted feeling if you have extroverted feeling you have introverted thinking, so so that that can kind of help figure out what kind of type you you are. And it's the same thing with any SE. Wait, no, yeah, it's the same thing with with any SI. You can have extroverted intuition, introverted sensing, or you can have introverted intuition, extroverted sensing. And there's a video I'll put it in the the um, you know description where people explain it people at interpersonality.com and interpersonality on YouTube they're the ones who are helping me discover this kind of stuff so um so yeah so I definitely don't use extroverted thinking I know that right off the bat and you know, the kind of extroverted thinking, introverted feeling kind of thing is just kind of like, you know, like if you have SI, which is kind of the, um, it, all SJs have SI in their, in their either top function or second function. So it's, it's basically the SJ-ness of the SJs, and we all know how uh, SJs can be sometimes. So that's that's SI. Um, that kind of past oriented, somewhat rigid uh, structure. That that way of uh, analyzing internal information. Once again, we all know I'm not a freaking expert. When I am an expert, I'll, don't worry. I'll make a video saying, "Hello everyone. I'm an expert now." But until then, you just gotta take what I say with uh, a grain of salt. I I've been humbled. So anyway, SI. So if you're like an ISTJ and you have SI as your first, as your top function, and TE as your second function, you'll be um, you'll be very like, you know, you know, this is how it is. You know, this is how it's always been. You gotta follow the rules, and I don't care about your feelings. It's uh, the rules are important. So that would be like nice, TJ. This is very basic stuff, but there's a lot of misinformation out there, and I really hope that from now on I don't contribute to it. But I probably will. So you gotta, you gotta really talk to the professionals. But anyway, 
Um, so yeah, I don't have SI. I definitely don't have SI in my top two functions. Hell no, I don't. So, so I can eliminate the SJs from me being an SJ because all SJs have SI in their top two, in one of their top two. So okay, then there's the SPs. They all have extroverted sensing in their top two. And we know extroverted sensing, woo, 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 woo. you know, that kind of party like, yeah, want to experience life and go out and drink and do drugs. I don't know. And I'm just, I'm just bullshitting. But anyway, uh, you know, maybe be really into your body and ride bikes and be outdoorsy or you know, whatever the hell, like, very hands-on kind of thing. So those are all the SPs. They have extroverted sensing in their first or second function. Well, I'm not those, so, so we can get rid of, we can get rid of all the sensors now. But a boom all the sensors. Gone. So now, I'm working with the, the, uh, ends. So we got the, uh, we got the ends now. All right. So, I don't use TE. So all the ends with TE, I am not because I don't use TE. I also don't use SI. Well, that makes things easier because um, you know, with with TE like an INTJ, and I. Uh, as their dominant function and TE as their second function, you know, they, they, we know, we all know how INTJs can be, very straightforward and to the point. Anybody with TE really as their second or first function can be very, you know, boom, boom. I'm gonna tell you how it is, kind of thing. But this is just, I know, I, I'm gonna keep saying it over and over. I'm not sure what the hell I'm talking about, but I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. So this is just for fun. I'm not going to say it again. It's just for fun. I'm not an expert. Anyway. Anyway. So yeah. Eliminated all the sensors already. Eliminated INTJ. Um, we eliminated ENTJ. Um, we eliminated INFP, they have inferior extroverted thinking. Uh, what else did we eliminate? Um, there's one more. ENFP, they have SI, they have, uh, any, right. They have SI, NE, they, I'm not going in order. They have FI, yeah, and TE. So ENFP and INFP, boom, gone. So what are we left with? We're left with ENFJ, INFJ, and, um, so that's just without the, without the, Without the T and without the SI, ENFJ and INFJ. Because SI, no, that, that SI, that hardcore SI. I mean, but they, they, you know, there's also like the INTPs, which is why I got confused too. INTPs have, well, they have that SI in their third function, so it's not so dominant. It's in their inferior couplet kind of thing. So, you know, so it won't be as pronounced, but it's still there. I don't relate to SI at all. Also, S a lot of people with SI will have, um, a lot of people with SI will, will have, they, what they do is they look at things 
and they make a lot of associations with S I N E. They'll like they'll remember things from the past, like uh, very past oriented. I can't remember what happened yesterday. I can't remember really any of my life at all. But if you have S I, you're thinking about how the past affects you. When N I is very future oriented. Pretty much only future oriented, and and you can either have SI or NI. There, that's that's uh, like categorizing uh, the the internal information in, in a sense. Um, ca yeah, categorizing it, un understanding it, and um, yeah. So, so if I was an INTP, I'd have the TI, NE, um, SI, FE. So the SI is not so dominant. And then there's the inferior FE, which is what uh, made me think I was an INTP to begin with. Because there's that inferior FE, and I have trouble with my feelings. You know, I I'm not the most I'm very very much known for being monotone, uh, for not having the most vibrant presentation, and for even being like unempathetic. You know, I'm, I people know that. Uh, you know, I don't get affected by by things so much. Um, which is like, okay, well, yeah, well, if I have inferior FE, that would make sense. But then, the SI doesn't make sense. People with NE, I think, jump from project to project. You know, they, they want to jump. They, they like to learn about all different things, like an INTP, so that they can add it to their TI view of the world. They, they want that knowledge. TI is their main thing. They mean shit. So they're like, whoa, I want to I wanna understand everything. I want to understand anything I can get my hands on. So use the past, SI. Use the NE observations, you know, extroverted intuition, and then add to that TI map. And then you're like, boom, that's, yeah, that gives me pleasure. That's why it's very scientific, you know, you, you, the, un, trying to understand the universe, trying to understand things. Um, but now, so then we were left before with the ENFJ and INFJ, because they have the same functions in a different order. But um, if I was an ENFJ, I'd probably be, probably, I'd probably be more extroverted. You know, I'm, I'm not extroverted. I'm not like, you know, I'm not, I'm just not. I, I, I pretty much avoid people uh, as much as possible. Besides, like, on the internet. On the internet, I like hanging out with people. But that's different. But anyway, like Oprah is an ENFJ, I think. I'm not, not like Oprah. Sure as hell not. Who else? I think Jim Carrey. Not like Jim Carrey either. But, uh, but that's the thing. You can't really stereotype with all of this. You can't. You can't. Um... You can't say, yeah, Ian, Oprah's an ENFJ and Jim Carrey's an ENFJ, because everybody's so different. Like, just think about the difference between Oprah and Jim Carrey. And like me, with a lot of INTP mannerisms, actually being an INFJ, that's that's a mindfuck, isn't it, right? 
because I'm relating to all these INTPs and their mannerisms and their emotional dispositions but I'm just not using the same functions and when I look at INFJs on, on vlogs and stuff I'm like well these guys these guys are pretty a lot more emotional than me you know that they're, they're speaking with their eyes like this I'm not I'm not criticizing I'm just saying you know hmm, I'm an INFJ and I'm just like okay I, that's not how I behave so I would think my FE would be lower on the list but alas Introverted, the the NISE paradigm. I don't know. I don't even know what paradigm means. I don't know why I'm even saying it. But the NISE thing, the inferior SE. Like the inferior SE kind of makes sense for me in certain ways because um, I have a bit. Uh, I I'm conscious of the way I look. I know how to put together an outfit. I I know. I've I, I've had a very social life uh, growing up with a lot of different people it was really only until my 20s where I, I started well, well to my early 20s because I'm still in my 20s where I started to uh, be alone more often um, but so there's SE and NI and I definitely use I would definitely relate to that more than SINE which is like philosophical not really that philosophical I just try to look at things and then have some kind of do my my NI little little bit of bubbling of my brain and just go ha oh, look at me I'm so insightful I'm so insightful right now let me um let me deliver it to you with my FE so that seems that seems to make the most sense to me the only thing that confuses me is why don't I act like an INFJ and why do I act a lot like an INTP just from vlogs that's what confuses me but as far as the functions go I relate much more to the INFJ functions definitely but maybe I feel like maybe I used to act more like an INTP, and maybe I'm. I don't know. It's weird. But alas, so f as far as I know right now, I'm an INFJ. So that's kind of my journey, my way of discovering it. And um, and yeah. So hope you've enjoyed this presentation and. Uh, have a good day or night or what life second life and next incarnation and yeah I'm talking about see ya